good morning good morning everybody welcome into my channel I am just coming into the uh, Kenora Ontario area yeah so we spent the night over in Dryden managed to get the video uploaded for you guys for today's video I know uh, today is uh, March 6 so a week from today when you watch this video is when I was uploading the video but uh, anyways finally managed to get that up and we're good to go I'll be home uh, today I just got to do my delivery in Winnipeg first and then uh, probably go back home I don't know if they're gonna have a load from Winnipeg coming back to Steinbeck yet but uh, we will find out when we get there won't we yeah it's supposed to warm up pretty good today so spring is in the sight at least in my opinion spring is around the curve yep so I should probably later on this afternoon we should probably start seeing some snow melting yep well we got another 250 kilometers to go to our delivery in Winnipeg but uh, so it won't be a long day of driving today but I figured since we uh, still have some nice sceneries up here in Ontario a little bit of hills and stuff like that we'll still try and record a little bit of something for today's show yep well guys I am officially in Winnipeg Manitoba and I'm at my delivery place at first they said well do you have an appointment I said no no I don't I just got told to come and do my delivery up here and it says that I can deliver any time between 8 and 1500 which is 3 o'clock uh, they went and talked to the manager or whatever and they said well we'll deliver it we'll, we'll take you today so well I said it don't matter to me because about you know maybe three quarters of a mile down the road here is where our terminal is so I don't really care but here we go warmed up some pizza pops I got some orange juice and I got some uh, peaches up here and I'm gonna grab me a bite to eat I haven't had anything to eat so while they're unloading me so let's get to it before it gets cold and we'll be back later all right we finished unloading here in Winnipeg and dispatch told me to uh, bring the empty trailer back to Steinbach so now we're making our way back to Steinbach. Slide right on. Yes, RJ. East. We know where we're going. I know. Uh, I am very familiar with this area. So <laughs> I come down this road many times already. But yeah, I set it up still just so that way. It shows me the speed limit and stuff like that. You know, where I'm going and all that. Well, I wonder what they're building here now. Well, that wasn't there the last time I come across. It looks like they're getting ready to build some new building up there. Yeah. So yeah, we got 74 kilometers to go. And then we will be uh, back in my hometown, Steinbach, Manitoba. Yeah, it looks like the fuel is creeping up a little bit here. 97.4. Yeah, it's gone up only a couple of weeks ago it was like 86 cents a liter you know it's uh, 97.4 nothing I can control right so but here we can see the snow is starting to melt yep so starting to get a little bit wet there on the side of the highway so that's a good sign I love seeing that that's for sure all right four-wheeler what do you want to do eh, you're not sure where you're going or what you're doing probably playing on the cell phone or something anyways in about two clicks I'll be on a perimeter 
highway as you can see that here on the sign right here speed warning yep that's the bypass that goes around Winnipeg yeah so let's make our way home well yeah, guys right over here on the right is polar industry that is the ice road trucker company yep i believe we p express is down here somewhere too but i couldn't see their facility today but i think i seen it there before one time but uh yeah so i am very close I live very close to where the ice road truckers have their businesses, you know? So whenever you see those shows, you can think of me and uh, they, I know Rudy lives close by there. And he drives in very similar weather condition than uh, what those guys do, so... Anyways, just figured I'd throw that out there. But isn't it a gorgeous sunshine today? I am so looking forward to seeing green grass again, you know? I see this white stuff so many months out of the year that, you know, by the time this uh, is all gone, you know, you're just smiling and enjoying the nice green fields and stuff like that. Well, guys most of you that follow me closely know when i'm standing outside like this i probably got something cooking outside right well yes i do look at that we are cooking ourselves a nice supper oh yeah nice stew we are cooking ourselves like i told you guys earlier it's supposed to warm up pretty good today and it did the snow is actually melting out there on the roads yep went and washed the truck and went over to the mechanic up uh, here in Steinbeck at my shop well not my shop but his shop there and I had an ABS sensor that I had fixed last time already it was acting up again on the road so went down there and got it fixed again so hopefully now it's gonna be in good shape well guys the stew is almost ready a few more minutes and we shall have ourselves a nice dinner oh yeah and this stew contain, uh, contains chicken onions green peppers red peppers some garlic some uh, seasonal salt and rice and tomato sauce so it gives you guys a little bit of a recipe on what it actually is so we shall go inside here in a few minutes and have ourselves a beautiful nice dinner I hope you guys are having a nice dinner today too now guys I am going to show you guys something very interesting for those of you that are North American English speaking people, you will have probably never ever heard of this or seen this. And what I'm going to do is grab this pot. As you can see, it's sitting on a fire. It's boiling, right? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my hand and I'm going to hold the pot with my hand. Just stay tuned and watch. Here we go, guys. So you can see I got nothing in my hands, right? That's what to get this done. Here we go. There we go. You can see it. You can see my hands are black. That just proved it that I did it. You saw that I left. I didn't hold the pot at all, right? yep that's it now here is the trick to it as long as that water is boiling you will not burn yourself but don't try this at home you might burn yourself <laughs> as you can see I did it but if you're not an expert of it don't try it at home you could burn yourself because I've done this many times I figured I'd make this something really interesting for you guys. So 
gives you guys some entertainment to watch because I'm an expert in cooking. I know how to do it.